welcome 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 i want to share with you today um studying african history uh makes you strong studying african history makes you strong um please subscribe to this channel if today is your first time or share the channel with your friends and family so um i have i have studied a lot of strong africans people who have done so much for um africans and black people around the world and there is something that runs through all of them uh, they were very much confident in the identity as africans they were so much proud of their heritage and they did not they didn't think that they were inferior uh, to others i've also seen some people uh, who who praise everybody else but the africans now these great fighters uh, these great heroes of africans they didn't live for themselves they live for all of us they fought for us they created businesses for us they they, they wrote books for us they created products for us they they, they form movement so that we will be uh, liberated we will be treated uh, fairly you know we will have some kind of equity and we'll be in charge of our own destinies and these people have seen that studied the history they were strong if you read their books you could see that they were not ignorant anytime that I've seen any African any black person around the world uh, anywhere in, in Africa in Ghana in Nigeria Particularly when you when you probe further, you see that their sense of history is very weak. They have opinion on every subject, but they have not studied it. Because this kind of history, if you don't study it, you will not know. You can make very good uh, judgment on everything, on <laughs> but to talk with the right data, right information, right materials is a whole different thing. And so, growing up in Ghana, we grew up in the culture, we grew up in the traditions. We understand some things but uh, when it got to when it gets to a place where you have to meet the Europeans and their uh, and their uh, you know <laughs> the way they have carved the history to make them only the heroes <laughs> uh, then it becomes another thing and so without studying the history without being taught rightly over the last uh, let's say the last 10,000 years or, or more you don't have any sense of history especially reading the history uh, books written by Africans who want Africans uh, to be strong and to know their heritage those are the kind of books that you should read and not the ones history can be taught to, to, to defeat you or history can be taught uh, to make you uh, a strong person and a lot of the times the kind of history that the Europeans have thrown out there is the history that makes the Africans um, to be treated as people who have never been civilized people who have never lived uh, you look at the images that they send around the world on us you know so if you want to be strong as an african uh, it's not the science it's not the technology it's not even the financial knowledge as they put it it's not even the entrepreneurship it's not even building business it's you being strong in your identity being strong and proud of your heritage you know and going through your heritage going through your history and knowing the heroes who come from your black line who comes from where where who look like you who have achieved so much those things when you know them you'll be proud as an african you'll be proud and you you talk positive about africa and you will not be hopeless about the prospects and the future of africa the more history you know the more the more the future you can see that one is strong and and that one is true and the more free you become you see anybody frustrated as an african complaining almost on everything african and blaming everything on african leadership or african leaders and corruption it's because there's so much that they don't understand about the world and and the history some of them even think that we are just making excuses it's not an excuses it's not an excuse that we are making the facts are there so get books read books read books because if you don't read proper books on africa there's not much you are going to learn so read about the last let's say you can session it let's say you want to take the last ten thousand years history so take the first three thousand years that is bc let's say now we are in, in 2000 so bc let's say eight thousand what happened to africa what were our achievements? What were the, the scientific uh, uh, developments or innovations that we, 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 we came up with? Uh, what, what kind of religion did we practice? 
you know, the tradings, study them. Then the next 3,000 years, that will be, let's say, BC 4000, thereabout, you know, go and study what happened to the Africans. What were they? Because there was a time that, you know, if you study the history proper, it's up, up until maybe uh, 600 BC to 700 BC that the, the, the Greeks and the Europeans, you know, not, not, not even the Europeans, um, the Greeks and the Romans, you know, uh, especially the Greeks, started to, uh, um, you know, become any people at all proud to that the africans were largely the most prominent that's why you can see all the things that they built all over uh, the continent the civilizations almost every every tribe in africa when you go you can see thousands of years of civilizations you know of things that the europeans have taken to their museums <laughs> <laughs> 2,000, 3,000 years, 4,000 years, 5,000 years ago. And yet they say that the Africans don't know anything. The Africans have never been civilized, you know. And so, um, and then you can also take the history, let's say 2,000 years before Christ. What happened? Where were the Africans? Where were the Europeans? Um, the, the Romans, the Greeks, what did they do? Who trained them? These are things that are there. There are teachers, masterful teachers, who have learnt, who have learnt these things, who have put these things in books. Go and get them and read, because until you know some of these things, there's not much that you are going to understand. There's not much you are going to understand about yourself as an African. There's not much you are going to understand understand uh, about the world. And so, a lot of the times, the kind of history they teach us is uh, when the the Portuguese and the, the Dutch people came to Africa with their ship, and when they started to trade with the Africans. But before they came, there were things that the Africans were doing. You know, before they came, before Islam was ever introduced here, the Africans were there. They were doing their things. They built civilizations, great ones. They built kingdoms. They saw how kingdom. There's Kemet, there is Egypt, there's Nubian, there's Sudan, there's the Khan Kingdom, there's Yoruba, there's, uh, there's the Moshi, there's the Ghana Kingdom. You know, uh, there are a lot of achievements of the Asantis. But all these things are in books. And if you're an African and you don't read about them, you only sing the praises. And a lot of us will only just use the Bible as the only history book. But before the Bible, the Bible largely uh, record, I mean, documents the history of the people they call the Jews. You know, <laughs> and even that, if you go into proper history, you will know who the Jews are. You know, <laughs> there's a lot because you can't really separate. If you look at even just the Bible history, you can't really separate the Jews' uh, history or the Jewish history from the Africans. You can't. You can't separate that. But we are trying to separate them. You know, so when it comes to history, you have got to learn. You have got to learn because if you don't, you will be treated as nothing. And then you make all the complaints and say that the Africans know nothing. The Africans don't know anything. The Africans have never been any great. It's so much is deep. Our, our history is so deep. Almost every tribe has great history in every point in time. And it's not just about the, 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 the drumming and the dancing, no. It's also about the, the, the production. It's also about industries that they built. It's also about the chieftains. It's also about the leadership, the wars that they went. Um, it's also about the, the, the prosperity that they created for the people and the, and the, the wars that they lost as well, the, 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 the dominations that they experienced from others as well. You know, so there is a lot that we have got to learn. If you want to become stronger as an African, you cannot separate your sense of history. A lot of us have been whitewashed in terms of the information that we have. We've been whitewashed. We look at the world history only through what the Europeans have told us. And a lot of the times they have told us history to our weakness. They have made us victims. They have made us a people that they had to come to save. I've heard people, prominent teachers on Africa, who say that, oh, it was good that they came so that they came to civilize us. I say that it was, it was, it was sad that they came. Because they destroy our identity. They destroy our sense of being. They change the history. They taught a lot of things that they didn't have to. They, they, they wrote books to tell us that we are subhumans. They wrote books, scientific things, you know. They did scientific research just to try to say that the Africans didn't have anything. They were not full human beings. 
those were all lies and a lot of it only happened when the europeans came into contact uh, with the africans you know and much of it happened in the 17th or the 16th um, in the 13th or 14th or 15th century somewhere thereabout where they started to change things and they built a lot of new new concepts for instance what they call white was a concept that they had to build to separate themselves from everybody else and to be treated special and to be given a lot of privileges and that's why when you see all the big big businesses and all these things that they control it's because of the creation of the concept of white even to date there are businesses that when you're an african how they will value them and the credits that lines or the loans that they will give you the the things that they will spell out will be different from if you're a white man you know? so these things uh, is not they are not just history they're current the way they treat the african countries for instance look at the, the kind of laws that they give to other african countries look at trade for instance the things the, the, the things that they don't look at how they have structured africa you know so if you don't have deeper understanding and if you don't take time to research and study the timelines and i'm not just saying going to cape coast to study what happened that is major part of the history but we are far more greater than when than our contact with the europeans or even our contact with the arabs there's so much that happened. The Arabs just came in the 7th century, you know, the 7th century. It's about, uh, you know, 600 years after Christ or so. But way before that, the Africans were building their civilizations. Way before even Christ was born, the Africans had kingdoms. Great kingdoms. If you go to Egypt, the current Egypt is not what <laughs> the Egypt that built the civilization is there. Those are Arabs. They just came to live there out of wars and invasions. The Greeks came, the Romans came to fight, and you know, and these histories you must know them. If you don't know them, then you'll be the ones complaining and saying that the Africans are nothing, they don't know anything, what have you achieved? You know. You